Well, with Dr. Finger finally washing his hands, you know, of his medical career, I thought that I would get him a retirement gift. I'm thinking golf cart. Now I know I could buy him one of them fancy riding ones, but I'd have to either forget what I thought of Dr. Finger, or I'd have to be rich or an idiot, or both. <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna build him one of those uh, golf carts that you just kind of pull along. And to do that, I need some plastic piping and some various odds and ends around the house and, uh, and a, a kid's bike like this one. All right, now the first thing I gotta do is get the wheels off that, and to do that, I'm gonna run her as fast as I can into that brick wall. <laughs> Done. Maybe I should uh, cut back on the desserts for a while. All right, now you get these wheels, you're gonna put these on your golf cart. I know the normal golf carts have the little wee wheels, but they're only good for the fairway. How many of us are ever there? All right, next thing you need, uh, get yourself a can of soup. All right, make that an empty can of soup. And you want to attach that to the outside of one of the wheels and just use one bolt. Now the reason you only use one bolt is so the can stays level as the wheel goes around. See how that works? Now you put water in there and then you drop your golf ball in. You have a continuous ball washer. Sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> All right, now take your pieces of plastic pipe here and uh, you want to cut these into about 30 inch lengths. You can measure them if you like. I prefer to just eyeball. <laughs> oh yeah, we got plenty there. Now you can cut that with a fine tooth hacksaw or a carpet knife. But like I say, I never really liked Dr. Finger. Now you attach all those together using the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. All right, now you reach that way down into your bed and you come up with a hot water bottle. If you come up with something else, then maybe it's time to change the sheets. Okay, so what you do with this now is you cut this all the way around here and then stretch her over the end of all the tubes. And be careful, working with rubber can be tricky. Man, I haven't been slapped in the face that many times since the prom. All right, now here's how she works. Get yourself a club, and you stick them down into these tubes so the handle of the club rests right up against the rubber of the hot water bottle. Then when you want to get a club out of your bag, you just push down firmly, and she pops right up into your hands. All right, now, get yourself the rest of the pipes here, and your fishing reel, and you're ready to start putting the whole unit together. All right, uh, we got all our clubs in there. We got our ball washer mounted on the side. I want to show you another feature. Get yourself uh, one of these uh, heavy-duty fishing reels. Mount that on there. And on the end of the fishing line, what you want to do is attach a rubber hose washer out of your hose there. And the way that works is when you pull a club out and you're going to take a shot, first of all, slip this hose washer over the grip, okay? And that way, maybe if the shot doesn't go, you know, just exactly the way you wanted it to, and you find yourself slipping into a blinding rage and trying to throw the club to the far side of the moon, then after you cool off an hour or so later, all you got to do is just reel the club back in, you know, unless, uh, unless you might have nailed somebody, in which case I would say just cut the line and, and keep walking. Now, another feature I've got on here is uh, I've attached a bow saw uh, to the handle itself, and this is for when your ball goes in behind a tree. And what you do with that is you just kind of stand behind a tree and just kind of rock your cart back and forth while you're making your club selection, and you'll find the problem will probably take care of itself. Now, another thing I got, it's really great. Uh, the handle is actually another piece of plastic pipe. It goes down here into an elbow and out a little pipe and so on. So uh, what, what this is for is when you've lost your ball or you put it into the woods or it's in another fairway and you want to keep that as your own little secret, you just kind of get, get close and look around and drop a ball down here and, oh, there's my ball there. <laughs> so there's your set of golf clubs. So remember, the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. I think I'll use a four iron on that. Wonder why they call it a four iron. Four! <laughs> hey, Red Green here. If you've ever wanted to see me live, or see if I still was alive, I'm doing a brand new one-man show, and this could be it. In fact, I'm calling the tour. This could be it. I'll be doing a U.S. tour in the spring and Canada in the fall. It's a 90-minute family-friendly live lodge meeting. To find out where I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there, go to redgreen.com and follow the links. Hopefully, I will see you on the road. Meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice.